Hi and welcome back to the channel. Today's story is going to be based on Peter Pan and it's called An Adventure for Wendy. The Lost Boys have heard Wendy's Peter Pan stories too many times. So Wendy decides to go looking for a new adventure of her very own, but finds out that's easier said than done. So let's get into it. This is published by Autumn Publishing. Peter Pan and the Lost Boys loved listening to Wendy's bedtime stories. Tinkerbell too, never missed a telling. They all delighted on Wendy's gripping tale of swashbuckling pirate, hidden treasure and magical sparkling pixie dust. But one night during story time, the Lost Boys all looked bored. Even Michael and John found their sister's tale dull. We've heard all these stories before, Wendy. Chubby grumbled. Please tell us a new one, John chimed in. Where will I find inspiration for a fresh story, Wendy wondered. Then it came to her. Wendy's bedtime stories all starred Peter Pan. All she needed for a brand new story was an adventure with Peter. The next morning, Wendy woke up ready to join Peter Pan on an exciting excursion, but she couldn't find Peter anywhere. He's not behind here, said Michael. Or under here, added the raccoon twins. I'm sorry, old chaps, John said, pushing up his glasses. I saw Peter and Tink leaving extra early for their outing this morning. The Lost Boys looked disappointed. You need Peter Pan to have an adventure, declared Rabbit. What will you do, Wendy? asked Tootles. It was true. Peter was always the hero of Wendy's stories. But Wendy wasn't concerned. Now boys, don't you worry, said Wendy. I'll have to create my own adventure. The Lost Boys looked doubtful. But Wendy was determined. I'll head for sea, she said. There's always adventure there. Wendy took a shortcut through the jungle. On her way to the ocean, she ran over the rushing waterfall, skipped over some stepping stones and greeted the hippopotamus that lived in the river. Then she looked up to see an orangutan family racing between the trees. It looks like a grand time, exclaimed Wendy. Finding an adventure can wait a little while longer, I'm sure. So Wendy joined the fun above. She and the orangutan swung high above the ground from tree to tree to tree. I wish I could spend all day with you, said Wendy, when everyone stopped to rest, but I'm in search of an adventure. She would not let the lost boys down. Wendy said goodbye to her new friends, then headed towards the cliff that bordered the sea. As Wendy skipped past the shimmering mermaid lagoon, she heard someone cry out, Help! Oh dear! gasped Wendy. A mermaid was stuck in a fishing net. Her friends were nowhere to be seen. Finding a bedtime story would have to wait once again. Wendy dived into the water, swam towards the mermaid and rescued her from the net. Thank you for saving me, gushed the mermaid. You're so brave. Won't you stay and play in the lagoon for a, lot, a while longer? Wendy and the mermaid splashed and laughed in the water. This is so much fun, Wendy said as she came up from a dip in the cove. But I really must be going. I still have to find my adventure. Wendy hiked along the coast, past Blind Men's Buff, heading towards a rowing boat moored at the dock. Once she reached the boat, Wendy thought she could finally start her adventure at sea. Then she'll have a bedtime tale to tell. But when Wendy arrived at the rowing boat, she found Smee trying to steal it. Now, Mr Smee, you leave that boat alone warned Wendy. It belongs to the Lost Boys. The pirate grinned. You have to fight me for it, little lass, he challenged. Wendy quickly picked up an umbrella that was inside the boat. Clash! Clang! Wendy jeweled with Smee, using all the sword skills she learnt from Peter and a few tricks of her own. Soon, victory was hers, as was the boat. Her adventure would, could finally begin, but as Wendy looked to the sky, she saw the sun setting on the horizon. It was time to head back. Wendy returned to the hideout feeling defeated. She failed to have an adventure. There'll be no new bedtime story that night. When the Lost Boys gathered around, Wendy apologised. I'm sorry, 
I meant to have a marvellous adventure today, but things kept on getting in the way. She told them about swinging through the trees with the orangutans, saving the mermaid and fighting off Smee. It just wasn't meant to be, she finished. The lost boys listened in awe, and Peter Pan was enthralled. Wendy, what a thrilling day you had, Peter exclaimed. You're so courageous, said John. The lost boys all agreed that it was the best bedtime story they'd ever heard. Hooray for Wendy, they cheered. Looking back on her day, Wendy, Wendy realised they were right. She'd created an adventure all on her own. What a wonderful feeling. That night, Wendy snuggled into her warm bed and dreamt about her big adventure. And that was an adventure for Wendy based on the Peter Pan story published by Autumn Publishing. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this story. Stay tuned for more Disney videos, Disney Dreamlight Vill Valley videos and tips and tricks on Sundays. Like, share, subscribe, comment but down below just to support the channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you real soon. Yeah.